Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf. Welcome back to the YouTube channel for part two of the club fitting here with Meat Sauce, Paul Lambert uh, from KFan Sports Radio. If you missed it, check out part one where he got fit for new irons. So we got to go over that first. Uh, yeah. So uh, first, what was that like to get fit and, and kind of go over maybe the, the clubs that are in your bag now or are going to be in your bag? Uh, it's great. Uh, it was a wonderful experience for multiple reasons. We went through a bunch of them and just the difference in the yardage and the, yeah. and the launch speed, ball speed, was night and day. And mm -hmm. once you, uh, we locked into the AI Smoke by mm -hmm. Callaway, that's the one we decided to go with. And just seeing the numbers makes such a difference. You mm -hmm. can feel it and swing it into a net, but once you get all the numbers up there, yeah. it was a night and day difference from the four other clubs yeah. we tried. How are you feeling? That's a lot of, that's right. a lot it's of swings. It's a lot of swinging, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, feel good. I don't. I think I've only swung a couple times in the last couple of months, but yeah. it feels pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow will be a different story, but right now it's great. Right, yeah. right. Exactly. Well, uh, now Tyler, so you've, we got the irons in place. Now you're going to go to the top of the bag. So yeah. um, what have you learned from this now? And what are you kind of taking with you to the top of the bag here? With you know, the same similarities we talk about in the first side of this with the irons is it just transcends through the bag. Um, we talk about the club you've got, the swing you make, the ball you hit. Yeah. And from that perspective, I mentioned a little bit about the idea of length and strength. So the clubs that we got in terms of irons are a plus half inch because of your height. We've got two degrees up because of some measurements. We've got a, uh, the Elevate MPH uh, regular flex based on the idea of the launch, the spin, and the ball speed. And what we're going to do now, after we decided on kind of five through gap wedge that fits us best uh, with the wedges already in the bag, is to go to the wood side of this. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the driver, and we'll do the same process to it. And the fairway is not an afterthought, but the fairway and hybrid are really, they can sometimes be tied together with the driver because a lot of the technologies in, in metal woods these days kind of move through, whether it's just the driver into the fairway or into a hybrid. So we'll be looking at the same sort of process, try about three, maybe four different clubs in terms of that driver. Uh, we have an idea about how we're swinging, so sh shaft selection will be very similar to it. And uh, we'll try to keep things on uh, an even playing field with the variables so that we really find out which head works and then, like we did with the iron, change up that shaft and see if any performance um, gets better. Sweet. Do you, have any, do you have any brands that you're thinking, or is it, are you kind of no, agnostic for, in that? I'm up for any of them, yeah. Okay. Yeah, whatever gets me the most distance. I like that. Yeah, that's I all like that, that matters. Yeah. Right. I think you ready to hit some more swings? Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. All right. So, well, let's, let's swing a couple of drivers here and see what we get. Um, we're starting off with the ping. The, the, this is the G430 Max 10K. So one of the big new waves in technology this year is forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. You know, we're, we're hearing um, about the drivers that are basically the longest and straightest they've ever been. And what we're starting with is the Ping G430 Max, but in the 10K, which reaches a, a threshold in terms of a physics measurement of the MOI, um, not only does, does uh, Ping have this, but TaylorMade has a version of this. Callaway has a version of this. Uh, even for that matter, we talk about every one of the companies, they're always pushing towards getting the most forgiving driver. Um, but we talk about what is forgiving. And to that matter, forgiveness is distance. So at any one point, if the, if the face is pointed to the right, the ball goes there. Um, the club's not going to just make, make the ball go left because uh, you've got the face pointed in a different direction. So face angles, like we mentioned with irons, Face angle is very, very important. But the forgiveness aspect is can I get that distance and do I get it to go a little bit straighter too? <clears throat> Couple more. So let's take a quick peek at what we were talking about um, just a little bit ago with our irons. But now let's do that with the driver. Ball speed, launch, and spin are three key numbers that we're looking for. We want to see the ball speed um, as high as we can get it. Um, that's, that's one of the factors to distance, but also how the ball gets in the air. So for instance, if it's too high or has too much spin, 
that's going to adversely affect the, the uh, distance of the shot, um, just as it would if it were too low and not enough spin. So the ball does different things depending on, um, on the spin rate, and that's kind of how you deliver the club. But, but again, going back to this, the key, the key component in this whole thing is what hits the club, and that's the ball, or the, the club um, hits the ball. So when we look at the head, that's where our technology lies. Um, we see average ball speed of about 120, and we're seeing about 167 carry 192, with one of our best being about 173 carry 204. Um, this is where we start. We're warming up. This isn't the finished product, sure. but it's just seeing is what, well, what can we get out of these? So let's try uh, TaylorMade. And um, again, hit about four or five shots. I like to call this the flavor testing, just so that for, uh, d does this even look good? Does it feel good? Is this even a pleasing to the eye? Um, and then let's see what kind of results we get with that, as well as a couple others. All right. Let's try Callaway. Sweet. Okay. So next up, we're uh, we're hitting the Callaway Paradigm AI AI Smoke. Um, this is the Max version, which has adjustability in the the weight that we can move in the skirt part of this. Uh, but more so, um, we're using the same shaft. Uh, profile in all of these. It's a tensile blue. It's a mid mid weight, mid kick, um, and what it allows us to do is is to um, have something maybe a little softer. Um, our club head speeds around 85 miles an hour, and so with that, we want to be able to uh, to have something again not too heavy, not too light, but also stable in between. What are your first impressions of this? I like this one. Yeah, this one's good. Yeah, you've <sighs> actually made, you know, for what it's worth, of course, like three relatively similar, same, yeah. same sorts of swings and gotten very similar results, which is good. I'm just wearing out at this point. That might be your best of the day. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Sweet. Yeah, it was your best of the day. Yeah. Isn't it, it, it's sometimes kind of silly how like a company may, there's no, no, no connection between the fact that the irons and the driver are both perform well for you. Correct. But they just both perform well for you. Yeah. Good. So let's take a look at the driver. Um, let me do this here real quick. So three things that we, we look at with um, the driver, just like we were talking about with the ball on, on the irons, um, ball speed, launch, and spin. You can see that the ping started off with around 120 mile an hour average uh, ball speed, which is good, and about 10 degrees of launch, which is a little lower. So we were getting in the, in the neighborhood of a, uh, about 3,600 RPMs of spin. Um, it's pretty consistent. You can see even the plus minus. So the deviation from that number is pretty pretty close to um, Whereas you see a little bit more in the in the tailor-made um, But the tailor-made just wasn't necessarily a, a great fit and that's okay You know using the same loft and the same shaft and the same setup So if we look at the same setup uh, with the, the tailor-made right same loft same shaft uh, and and when we get this in our hands that's the differences that we see. We see performance differences out of that. Now, for the Callaway, there were, uh, the first four shots were pretty much just the same as anything else. Yeah. Like with the ping, we saw the first four or five shots just like any, like yeah. pretty common. And then all of a sudden, there's the one that we really got or the one that we really hit well. Now, if we look at this from a perspective of, of how good this is, um, I take a look at the optimizer. What, what this is telling us is what would be optimal for what you did with the club. 
Did it have the right kind of ball speed? Yes. How about launch angle? Yes. Spin rate? Yes. You know, if this thing is carrying 192, you actually actually hit it 193 in the air. Great. We talk about the optimal distance would have been about 214. And it went it went 214. Yeah. That drive right there is perfect. Yeah. So, but now where do the, the characteristics of the those numbers come from? It comes from club head speed. It also comes from attack angle, whether we're moving downward or upward. So for instance, if our attack angle was slightly downward, and yours was very neutral to this, yeah. but if our attack angle was downward, we'd probably see a lower launch and a higher spin. And if our attack angle were more upward, we'd see a higher launch with less spin. And so that's kind of how the parameters get set for these ranges. But that, that club right there with that swing right there, that's perfect. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. And uh, we, we also talk about that fourth thing that I mentioned, and that's direction. And you see, it's like, that went right where we wanted to. There's room for improvement. Don't get me wrong. Of course. We're, we, can yeah. all, we can always improve on certain things. But when a driver like this is consistent, and we're seeing the numbers, it looks good, it feels good, that's where um, immediately I go right back to what we discussed with the irons. It sets itself apart. Um, let's try Titleist okay. and see what that does for us. Same sort of setup. Okay, good. It's a good start. It's yeah. good, good distance too. Oh yeah, where's your best ball speed of the day? Yeah, yeah, one of your longest shots too. I want to highlight something here real I quick. I like this one. Yeah, so um, I was just going to mention this real quick. So, uh, so here we've got the TSR2 by Titleist in 10 degrees. Um, it's got the same shaft that we've had before, which is the, the tensai blue in a lightweight regular flex. And for this, I actually also have this adjusted with a little bit more loft yeah. um, because it, Titleist and Callaway can, can independently change the loft, whereas Ping and TaylorMade, for that matter, you can adjust it, but you can do it um, dynamically, not as necessarily static. And so this last shot that you hit with this is a great example of what we're talking about for the numbers. Yeah. So one of the things I look at is the efficiency of the ball speed. So for club speed, there is an actual speed limit on the ball. And this one here, the, the speed limit on the ball is one and a half times the speed of the club. So you can see the smash factor right here at 1.50 is the fastest we can get the ball to move given the club head speed. So the manufacturers are kind of tied towards uh, legalities in these clubs. So that's great. We had a launch maybe a little bit lower than we'd prefer. Uh, but the spin was also in a good spot. It's not, it's not drastically low. So you can see that we missed a little bit of carry distance. Yeah. But overall, we also hit it about the same. About yeah. the same. Yeah. So this goes back to that idea we were talking about with the irons. For me, I, I really want to hone in on the carry distance. I want that ball to go as far as it can in the air. Yeah. Because as I mentioned, as soon as it gets struck, the environment takes over. If it's wet, it's not going to roll much. If it's uphill, if it's downhill, if it's windy, uh, hot versus cold, the carry distance is really more the factor of, you know, you step up on the first tee and you have a dog leg right. Can you take it over the bunker that sits on the corner? Yeah. If you can, now you have a much different shot going into the green versus I can't really do that. So I have to play out left. I'm a lot farther out. And it's, it's just trying to balance is like the, the distance we get in, in carry. Now, if it's firm, it's downwind, and it's hot, and uh, you hit that thing and it carries 10 yards, you're going to pick up even more yardage on the rollout to that. So that's one of the things that we want to look at in that carry distance. Yeah. Let's hit a couple more with that. that was, that's a really good driver. Yeah, I like this one. Okay. One more. Good. <coughs> Yeah, and we see their, our best ball speed of the day. We also, yeah, we see our best total of the day. All the way around. That Let's was excellent. Go. Yeah, that was excellent. 
we look at it from that perspective. And again, you know, where the launch is a little lower is a little bit as to where you hit the ball. That ball was maybe a little bit lower on the face yeah. as it was coming up through that. So, but still we see um, ball speed, 1.50 smash factor that can't move any faster. Yeah. We see spin in a good spot. We see the launch angle in, in a halfway decent spot. So yeah, we see also as a comparison amongst the drivers in general, yeah. Um, we're looking at some of these drives and I'm looking at it saying, Hey, as a comparison, now we look at the numbers. Yeah. Ball speeds 121. So we're back up, which yeah. is what we need. Yeah. Launch is at about nine and a half. Yeah. Spins at 3000. Our carry distance is still 167, but our totals up even more. Yeah. And our bet. And we can see from that perspective, these two drives here are the best two drives of the day. Yeah. These misses are just that. They're just misses. Yeah. They're not our best. But that's really what I'm focused on as a fitter is I'm trying to make the miss better. And that's where the technology and the drivers today, it's, it's can I get you more ball speed? Does it fly a little bit straighter? Um, you know, we go back 10 years in technology and we do, we do find people will come in for a fitting with 10 year old clubs. And immediately we, we start to see ball speeds pick up just based on the materials that they used back then yeah. and how they can form that. I talked about the, what's legal in terms of uh, clubs for, for the manufacturers. Ball speed's one of them, that's regulated. Um, where you can put weights a little bit regulated, but some things that aren't is like aerodynamics. So you see all of these kind of these uh, different shapes and figures and bumps all over the place and inlets here and outlets there. Uh, they're just trying to make this move faster. And when that happens, you can get the, the ball to move faster as well. But I would say that the biggest, uh, the thing that every company is probably the best at is about maximizing the ball speed. We find a combination like this. Yeah, this and, is great. And this, th th this is the ticket. The TSR2 is a, let's call it a little bit more for the player that doesn't hit it right in the middle. Yeah. And so... The ball, the ball speed around the outside can be a little bit higher, which gets us some of our distance. Too. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. That's this one. Yeah. yeah the, I, I like this right here. So do I. Just like that. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. You are good at what you do. Then let's take a look at the, at, at the fairway wood and the hybrid to that. One of the things I like to talk about with, with technology is to be consistent, right? Because we have adjustability in loft or lie independently for, for like Titleist as a club, I like to go to that fairway or even that hybrid because it gives us options. If a 15 degree three wood is, is not enough, I can go to 16 or 17, or if it's too much, I can even go down to 14. And the same thing with like a hybrid. So coming off like the, the five iron yeah. in our set, I'd probably go to like a four hybrid that we'll test. And then from there, maybe into a three wood. Sweet. Yeah. And see what, see what happens on those. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So what we're hitting here is the TSR2 by Titleist. One of the things I like is it gives us the consistency in terms of uh, the look, the feel, the shaft, the settings. And this is a four hybrid at 21 degrees, but with Titleist, I can, I can go down one degree or up two from that, that 21. Um, and, and that gives us a little, a little bit more ability to, what, if we need more launch or, or we need less launch. Yeah, excellent. You see that carry distance is out around 160. Yeah. Going out about 184. Yeah, nice. Solid. Yeah. I think I, yeah. I think blending the technology is one of the things uh, what I when I look at the technology and we start talking about woods as an example the driver is built off of certain principles and so are the fairways and so are the hybrids. This goes for all the companies. Um, but one of the things I like in the continuity is where we have a shaft that fits us well for our, our swing profile. It's not, it's not too light, but it's not too stiff. It's not too flexible. Uh, we get into that driver and I like to get into the fairway and into the hybrid, generally speaking, that kind of match that. And there's usually one or two ways that kind of that it works coming up off the irons is, you can get individual with a hybrid, sometimes just go with the company where you're at. 
or you get into the woods and leave them be a little bit more consistent. So you're not looking at something that's maybe gray on one shot and black, you know, a gloss black on another one yeah. and a matte black on another one. Um, to that matter, one of the other things that I think is really, really important for us in technology is, you know, if you look at what is a good fitting, uh, a good fit in terms of a golf club is something that's going to rely on the measurements we talked about, like for length and strength. I'm going to have a club that is not going to be changing while I'm playing. Yeah. Right. So when you're swinging that club, you're changing how the club operates. But but all of the factors that go around that club in terms of its length, lie, loft, grip, all that, that's same every single time. And so we're starting with a constant, and I'd rather have that 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 club be the right fit for its length and strength so that when you play, yes, we're not going to make the best swings every time. Correct. Yeah. But are we going to get the best results or better results? And that's going to happen with, with a, a, a good fit. Sweet. Let's try the fairway to that. All right. Oh. Right, we can hit it better than that. Yes. Nice crisp contact. Good launch. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, certainly one of the better ones of the day. Yeah. Excellent. 200 yards. That, and even for the gapping piece to this too, you know, we, we look back at the gapping between like the hybrid versus the, the three wood. You were getting the hybrid out to about 185 yards. This three wood's landing out around 185 yards. Yeah. And then going out to about um, 200 yards. And in that... That's where your driver, when we, we got that Titleist driver going out around 200 yards in terms of its carry distance and then moving on to uh, about 215 to 220. Yeah. Right. And Whatever so it takes. Yeah. What, what's going to change over time is it's going to be the strength of your swing in terms of the solid contact. So when you, when you hit the ball solid, you're going to get that ball speed. And that ball speed is going to continue to increase as you can increase the stability in your swing. Sweet. Right. And you're... You're relatively new at this. As I say, I've been doing this uh, golfing wise. I've been doing this for almost 30 years as a golfer, but also even as a fitter, I've been doing this for about 20. And what, what ends up happening is as we, we get out with the passion you have for this game, as you get out, you play, you experience, you just have to keep hitting shots to know what your body can and can't do. Correct. Yeah. And I always say is like, especially with swing changes, this isn't about what you want your body to do. It's about what your body can do. So if you're making a swing and you're trying to make your body do something, it might not work that way. So I, I always look at it and say, play to your strengths. If you hit the ball solid and it moves slightly right or slightly left, then play to that. Don't try to fight that. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So I love it. We go with the Titleist. We're going to go with the TSR2 in the driver, the three wood, and the hybrid. We're going to go with uh, 10 degree in the, uh, the driver, the 15 in, in the three wood, and the 21 degree in the hybrid. And that's going to complement us with uh, the length and strength that we want for our clubs. Perfect.